All right, it's week 15 of shared content, and it looks like I'm not really having server problems anymore, so... Last week it was only displaying the uh, solo levels that were made by my uh, people that I have on my friends list. But now I'm able to browse through the co-op levels, which is uh, what I need to do for the level I was looking for anyway. And I didn't realize it was going to be a co-op level, and I don't have a second person here to play today, but it doesn't really matter because this is a uh, DDA level anyway. I'll be taking a look at Kids in a Museum 2 by Cryptic62. Again, this is Kids in the Museum 2, not Night at the Museum 2. So, we tried contacting him, but I don't think Ben Stiller is going to be able to join us today. I mean, there's a small chance, but I really doubt it. Uh, Owen Wilson, on the other hand, he's been here the last few days. He's just sleeping right now, so I don't really want to wake him up. He just, you know, needed a place to crash. Alright, so Kids in Museum 2 by Cryptic62. So like I said, this is a DDA level, which means, you know, for those of you who don't know, is a don't do anything level. Alright, so before we get started, I just want to take a few seconds to share some words from the creator about their level. Cryptic62 had this to say about their level Kids in the Museum 2. The name refers to a map I made in N1.4. It was the first DDA I made which received any attention. I thought that making a 2 Ninja DDA in N++ would be a fitting tribute. Kids in a Museum 2 took about three days to build. For those who have never built a DDA before, it's worth noting how time-consuming the testing process can be. The longer the level gets, the longer it takes to add a new element. Multiply that by the fact that getting a new element to behave the way you want can take dozens of iterations. You get used to spending a lot of time watching the DDA play out, just waiting for it to reach the point you're trying to test. Alright, let's get started here. That's pretty cool. I don't know which one to watch. <laughs> oh, sweet. So that was Kids in a Museum 2 by Cryptic62. And now I'm going to try to beat it by not not doing anything. I'm dead. That was pretty much instant. <laughs> Shit. Nope. Oh no! Well, that was as far as I've gotten. I mean, that's the basic idea. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Is just loop through there real quick. It's way easier said than done. Oh! I just fucking end up bouncing off of one of these doors over here, and then I just can't change the direction. Oh man, that time I just went through all. I'll need to try to land on this thump over here, but I keep bouncing off that fucking door. Oh, that was nice. Oh, shit. That was so close. No! Holy shit. Oh, all right. 
<laughs> I didn't actually expect to get that. That was fucking lucky timing right there. Alright, so once again, that was Kids in Museum 2 by Cryptic62.